This is Bob Davis, 321, here once again to show you some comparisons. Uh, a little more on the Super Thumper. This is my original Super Thumper that I built probably 10 years ago. Uh, I basically started off with a thousand microfarads capacitors, thousand, yeah, 220 times 10. Uh, 220 times 5. There we go. Hey. I eventually built up to 3,000 microfarads. Uh, and then this is a current model. It has a power transformer in it. Uh, 390 microfarads X8. And a voltage multiplier and still 100 amp SCR. And what I'm demonstrating here today. First we're going to... demonstrate a coil of a hundred feet of wire hundred feet of wire with a three and a half inch hard drive platter that's very thin very light and with a five and a quarter inch hard drive platter That time being hard to lift. You gotta give it five seconds to charge back up. About one foot of lift. Now, I'm gonna try a coil that is closer to 50 feet of wire. Comparison. This is a three and a half inch platter with a coil of 50 feet of wire. Don't know if you saw that, but it's about 50% more lift. And now the big one. A lot of people like that sound that makes kind of a neat sound when the aluminum lifts off. If you're good, you can catch it. So anyways, that's a demonstration of a smaller coil versus a bigger coil. Someplace around here I have another coil that's even, uh, it only has about 30 feet of wire. And eventually I kept making the coil smaller and then went with a, what's called a flat coil. And that's featured in many of my other videos. Just for sound effect, one last launching.